Hello and welcome back to our Pokemon Giratina Strikes Back playthrough. This is part 7 and in this episode we're here with a little bit of a team recap to start everything off because we have had a little bit of an improvement on our team overall. You will notice that Rattata is no longer here and I will get to that shortly. But for now, uh, Clifford can't escape. Uh, Clifford is here. Our Growlithe, level 25, everyone's been powered up to level 25 because of moves and also Substitute is a really good fake one, but we will get to that as well. So for now, we have Bite, Dig, Ember and Leer on Growlithe, level 25, no moves that changes, but something to keep in mind is that we do have Dig on Growlithe, and with an Electro-type Gym coming up, that will be incredibly useful. We have ourselves Ace, the Swallow, level 25, Guts, which will also be surprisingly useful in the Gym, because it's an Electro-type Gym. So we can get through static a little bit, because that way it'll power us up with quick attack. I'm thinking this through. Uh, but nice attack stat, nice speed with uh, basically wing attack and quick attack, because the other moves are pretty useless. We have ourselves Flaffy, which, once again, is going to be really useful for this gym, because we can thunder with electric types in this gym. With the timid nature, with a nice special attack stat, with tackle, growl, shockwave, and thunder wave. We have ourselves Substitute, this is probably uh, the second biggest change. Uh, we have ourselves the Sassy Nature Substitute, which has incredibly good defensive stats, still has 44 attack, and now has head buff. So, it isn't useless. Something to keep in mind, we can use this, we can set up Reflex if we're up against a strong physical attacker, like say they have... I can't even think of a strong physical electric type, really, in this gen, but if they do, we have it. If not, we have Light Screen, which is probably what we're going to be relying on for this gem. So we can set up a Light Screen and then headbutt away, and that's probably going to be so good for this gem. We also have ourselves Espeon, which, as we know, now has Confusion, which will be super good. But probably the biggest change to our team, we got rid of the Rattata for a shiny Swablu. Look at this beautiful golden nugget of cotton. It's so beautiful. This is my mascot for this game now. I was just training away in that grass and a shiny popped out and didn't even make the sparkle. It was just gold and I was like, well, okay then. So I immediately ultra pulled it. Uh, so we have ourselves a level 14 cotton bud. It's beautiful. It's coming with us. I don't care if we need cut. I don't care. I don't want it with us. I'd much rather have cotton bud with us and just have the four of having a shiny Swablu with me than having the usefulness of cut, okay? It can go away. So everyone's level 25 for this gem. Uh, I think we should be good, although it is designed after Watson's gem, and I'm pretty sure he had level, like, nearly 30, because he had a Magneton. So there's that, but also, question of the day before we go into this, because we have a shiny on screen, uh, we are going to make it shiny related, which is going to be pretty simply last well, not last time, but a couple of uh, episodes ago, we had what shiny would you change? This time, we'll go something a little bit simpler. What is your favorite shiny Pokemon? For me, I think it's Umbreon. Greninja is amazing. Greninja is probably the best shiny I think they've done, but it's not my favorite. My favorite is probably Umbreon. I also love Luxio's shiny and Luxray and just that evolution line in general. I really like Swablu's shiny, to be honest, because it just becomes a golden nugget of happiness. It's beautiful, and I will make this an Altaria, and it will be on my team, and I'm so happy it's here. But what is your favorite shiny? Nice and simple. All right. So, for a little bit of uh, difference, we're going to use Substitute first, because we haven't used a lot of it, and I'm kind of excited to see just how well it will do. You should see this gym when the band is playing a concert. This place gets packed. I expect it does. But do they all bring shiny swap loose? I didn't think so. <laughs> if you can't tell, I'm very happy about this. I am I am very happy about this. Electrike level 23. Okay, we can fight that. We can headbutt that and see how much damage we do. Get the feel for our damn... Oh, or not. Or not. Substitute. Do you mind? I just wanted to gauge how much damage we would do roughly. So I knew how strong we were. But... It's fine. Sorry, but only friends of the band are allowed on stage. So you block the main route? Okay, sure, whatever. I was talking about the trains first for the XP, to be honest. My electric soul, it'll shatter your dreams whole. Whoa, yeah. Okay, uh... Can I test how strong my substitute is on you, guitarist Kirk, with your electric? Let's try this again. You know, maybe we'll get a good representation this time. We get hit by quick attack, headbutt hits. 
<laughs> of what is happening. I just want to see roughly how much damage we're doing. Magnemite? See, you're not the same, Magnemite. I want to use Dig on you. I don't... Maybe this is a telling the substitute is going to crit all the way through the gym battle. I can believe. So Dig should absolutely bop any Magnemite if, for example, the gym leader has a Magneton. This is probably going to be a very, very easy gym. If not, this could be more difficult. But hopefully, he at least has a Magnemite, just so I can bop that and that'll be one Pokemon down. That will be really, really good for us. Alright, that was plugged in, amped up, overdriven electric fan. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I test how much damage? I'm friends with the Thunderbolts. I'll tell security to let you up on stage if you can defeat me. Sure. More importantly, can I see <laughs> how much damage? A headbutt does. Pikachu, are you going to just drop to this headbutt? You might just drop to it. We get hit by Thunder Wave. We don't have Guts. I've forgotten what Substitute's ability actually is. Uh, I don't think it was anything crazy. It just gets one shot. Pikachu just gets one shot. Okay. Uh, that's great. And we've defeated you. Well, so far Substitute looks great. You know, so far it looks good. Okay, so you're pretty good. I'll tell security to let you up on stage, but don't take Charles too lightly. Okay, there's another trainer for Oblivious Prevents Attraction. Okay. That noise. Okay. Um, sure, sure, whatever. For now, I want to see if... Do you battle me? Yes, you do. Okay. Hey, you aren't trying to sneak up on stage, are you? No, I was let through. The security guard's right beside you. Are you... are you okay? Guitarist Sean, are you okay? Voltorb, is this going to get one shot by headbutt? I don't know, but I'm willing to find out. Alright, Sonic Boom, 20 damage, go ahead, hit me. Are you gone? Alright, so we don't just one-hit everything. Good to know, good to know, because I did have my EXP share on Substitute, so I never actually used the headbutt, so I didn't know how strong it was. I just wanted to gauge how strong it was without getting a crit. It seems pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. We could see an Electrode here. There's not a whole bunch of Electric types we could see. We have, like... Raichu, Magneton, Electrode. I would love it if he had a Plusle. That would make me really happy if he just had a Plusle. You know, that'd be super weird and probably not good, but it would be interesting. Because normally it's always the same stuff. You have, you have your Magnetons, your Voltorbs, your Elekids, Electabuzz, uh, got... Pikachu, Raichu, Pichu. Never plus one minor. Never. They're just seen as Pika clones, but they're the best Pika clones, okay? They are. They're the best Pika clones, and I'm not gonna hear anything else about it, alright? Voltorb, get out of here. Confusion will bop you after two of them. Sonic Boom is never gonna take me out. It'll be interesting if his ace is just Electrode or Self Destruct. Please tell me I'm calling it. I'd love that. I would actually love that. Unplugged and turned off. Alright, so let's quickly run out of here, get all healed up. I hope we don't have to speak to everyone again to get let through again. They shouldn't do that. I don't see why they would, but it's a possibility, I suppose. I lo also love running indoors. Running indoors, one of probably the most underappreciated things in ROM hacks and fan games of all time, but just do it. It just, it's just such a nice quality of life improvement. Just do it. There's never a reason not to. It's so beautiful. So am I going to be let through? I am going to be let through. Okay. Charles, how are we doing this? Who are we putting in front of this? Uh... Should we just start off strong with Clifford? Or should we save Clifford till last? I think we start off strong with Clifford. Why not? Alright, what do we have here? Uh, we have some drums. Okay, so you're a drummer. Alright. Welcome to my gym, Carlos. Thanks again for putting a stop to those jokers at the power plant. I haven't been my energetic self lately since that was bothering me, but now I'm feeling like I could put on a great show. Prepare yourself, for I, Charles, shall electrify you. Please don't. That sounds like it'd be painful. Can you entertain me? That'd be great. That sounds like you're putting on a performance. And you have a guitar. But you also had a drum kit back there. I'm confused. What's your profession? Magnemite. Yes. Yes. Okay, we're starting with the right Pokemon at least. Dig. Done. Mm, that's a little bit annoying, because we have two chances to hit ourselves before our move gets off. So that's kind of bad. Alright, we've got through it once. We do have to get through it again, though. This... 
major, this is one major downside of having a two turn move. And we hit ourselves in confusion on the second one. Okay. Well, we're gonna try it again. We're gonna try dig again. Because if we get it off, it should one shot. Okay. We've, we've got through turn one again. That's good. What's happening this turn though? Are we breaking out? We're not. But we get the move off. Okay, that's good. That should be fine. You should be gone. Absolutely gone. We got a crit on top of it. That basically makes it eight times super effective. That's overkill. Clifford, chill. Boltor. I think we use Espeon here. Because we know Espeon can deal with Voltor. So the last Pokemon probably isn't an Electrode. I really want it to be a Puzzle. I really do. Level 26, so we're not looking at anything crazy. I doubt this is the Ace. I think the Ace comes out next. Not a Swellow, by the way. It's ace is our Swellow. Different Swellow, we're looking for the Ace. And I'm curious what it's going to be. Electabuzz. This could be tough. Do I want to... I kind of want to Thunder Wave it. That seems like a super good idea. Let's Thunder Wave it first, get it immediately paralyzed. And that will probably be super big for us. Level 28 Electabuzz. And you're setting up. Okay. I don't I don't love that. We're gonna Thunder Wave you once, and I'm gonna growl you once just in case you have low kick. I don't I don't think it can have low kick. Lear. I'm pretty sure it's gonna have Thunderbolt. I'm pretty sure that's why it's gonna be strong. It's gonna have Thunderbolt and it's gonna rely on Thunderbolt. Tackle kick. Tackle did so much damage. Wow, crazy, flappy, you monster, you physical powerhouse, you. How could you do so much? Swift. Okay. Alright. That hurt. A lot. Why did you do so much damage with that Swift? Um, I guess we're just gonna hit you with a dig. It's realistically the best thing we can do. So let's just go for the dig. This might be super simple, or you might put something weird. Thunder Punch. Okay, not quite Thunderbolt, but close. We're gonna hit the dig. He might set up Light Screen again. Dig doesn't do a whole lot of damage. We get static, which sucks. And he gets fully paralyzed, which is good. Let's try and dig again, and we are gone. We're, we're very gone. We aren't, we aren't surviving that, even a little bit. Do I want to try and finish this up with Substitute? You know what, I really do. I don't think Substitute is going to be a Pokemon that's going to be around for the longest amount of time. It's got an ordinary typing. Let's use it while it's good. Let's use it while it's in its prime. Headbutt does so much damage. But we do get paralyzed. He gets fully paralyzed. Gonna use a Super Potion. We probably have another one of those coming. Uh, we get fully paralyzed this turn, which is kind of unfortunate. Maybe I should have set up a light screen. We take that really well, actually. You know what? We didn't need it. We don't need no light screen. We can just keep going for headbutt. Thunder punch, get speeds, because now we're both paralyzed. That's fine. As long as we get that headbutt off, that's all I'm really after. There is another super potion coming out. As long as Espeon is in range to finish this, I'm not worried. I'm not worried at all. In fact, I think this is going too well. Crit? No, we didn't get crit. This is going too well. Do we want to play the game? Do we play the game? We do. We play the game. We see if he gets fully paralyzed, and I don't. Let's play the game. We didn't win the game. We did not win the game. <gasps> Wait, I have a great idea. Is this a great idea? Is it? Is it a great idea? Speed 20. This isn't... This probably isn't a great idea. He's paralyzed. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Cotton Bud, get out of here. Get out of here. You know what? You deserve a chance, Cotton Bud. Okay, I believe... Oh, look at that sparkle. Okay, I can't resist. Okay, I'll admit it. Astonish, we outspeed. Ah... Ah, we didn't take it out. Okay, I'm scared. <laughs> what? We didn't take it out. Okay. Alright. Uh, let's try that again. We know we outspeed this time. There we go. Okay, Conbud gets us the win. 
Oh, that's so beautiful. We don't even gain a level from that. Are you serious? Are you serious? Come on, bud. Why are you so greedy? You fat nugget. Huh? What is that about? You really charged up my soul. Here, take this badge. You beautiful golden nugget. I love it. It's so great. It, I'm so happy about this. I really am. It's a great shiny. We received the Thunder Badge. Pokemon can use a Rock Smash out of battle and it will make your Pokemon a little bit faster too. Oh, you should take this too. So you have 24. So you do still give us Thunderbolt? That's so good. It's a very powerful electric attack and the inspiration behind my band's name. I don't know if I want to use that yet. I think Shockwave will be fine for the time being. I mean, Flaffy will get Thunder Punch at level 30 which I understand is not as strong as Thunderbolt, but I also don't know if we're going to be using Amphros forever. Because there might come a time when we want a different electric type, if there's a fake one electric type, for example, I'll, I might want to use that instead. So for the time being, I'm going to hold off on it, and if we are at a point where we really, really need to use Thunderbolt on Amphros, and we can't wait for like Winterland's Discharge or if Thunder Punch isn't kind it, then we can teach it then. For now though, I just want to look at this swivelly honestly. <laughs> For now though, we should be moving on. So where is the direction that we are meant to be heading at next? That's the question. Uh, I do also want to see what we can fish up with a good rod. So I put the good rod to our uh, select key. Which means we should be able to fish up some war types and see if we can get a potential war type on the team. Magikarp. That's not the most exciting Pokemon of all time, I'll admit. Uh, oh, bite. Oh, it goes multiple times. Okay, this this should be strong. Three times? This is a Gyarados. Is this a Gyarados? Are you showing me a Gyarados right now? What? Level 29 magic. That's not bad. We, we'd have to level it up once and we'd have a level 5 Gyarados. And that's... That's... Pretty good, to be honest. That's really good. I don't want it, though. That's really good. The reason I don't want it, Gyarados, despite being an amazing war type, it's an amazing war type in 4th gen and beyond. Okay, once the physical special split comes into play, it's good. Before that, I'm really not a fan. I don't like its special attacks being, all its war types being special, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, again, another free hook. Is this good? It's another magic up. This was not funny. I mean... It wouldn't learn any war type moves other than Hydro Pump at level 40. It just, it wouldn't be good. Okay, Goodrod, you're only picking up Magikarps on this beach, never mind. It was worth a check. Uh, I do think you can get Staryu there, because I did go and fish a couple of times there uh, while I was grinding. But... A whole lot of Magikarp, by the looks of it. So, I don't know if I can continue on this way and go in a direction past... to the left here? I can't go to the left here, okay. Well, this puts me in a predicament of I was not paying attention. Uh, <laughs> happens a lot, it's fine. <laughs> I think we have repels in here somewhere. We can just use repel to get back out of here with the speed up real quick. Uh, we know that this area just loops back round. Wait. Did we not... Is Route 10 before Route 12? Or after Route 12, sorry? Ah. Okay. Hello, is this Carlos? Uh, yeah. This is Simon from Edgeco. What's wrong, Simon? You sound frantic. <laughs> I'm not making him sound very frantic. Well, you see, I've just received word that your father has been kidnapped. This is why you don't just randomly say your father's name to strangers that are stealing electricity from a power plant. Just saying. What? 
How can this be? I know this is really confusing. I haven't told your mother because I don't want to shock her. Well, did the kidnappers leave a note or anything? Actually, yes. They want the Pokemon Fossil Resurrection Machine that we are developing in return for your father. But they don't want money? No. Which leads us to believe the kidnappers are from our rival company, the Bow & Co. Carlos, I need you to go to their headquarters in Winford City. This is our only lead. Okay, I will lay down. Alright, so I think that means we are heading onto Route 10. So, Espeon in front, let's go ahead and head to this place. I assumed we'd already been on Route 10 for some reason, because the other route was Route 12. Why not just make the routes in the right order that you go to them? Why, why you gotta be confusing? Wait, we did come this way. We definitely came this way. So we're, we're backtracking? Ugh, backtracking. That's... That's pretty gross. Also, I don't think I battled... Yeah, I never came back and battled these guys when I was training. I completely forgot about them all. And I just trained a wild Pokemon. But... I got a shiny Swablu. So even though it took longer, I don't really care. I'll take it. Alright? I don't need the XP. It's fine. Keep the XP, in fact. Keep it. I'll keep the shinies. Don't panic if your bike's going fast. Uh, I don't have a bike. I do have a bike. Why am I not using the bike? I could be using the bike. Ugh, the sand is ruining my bike. Hey, don't sneak up behind me like that. Okay, um... Too late, but sure. I'll try and remember the future. For the future. Havana, bop. Whalmer, bop. Tentacle, bop. Whalmer could be a fun Pokemon to catch for a water type. Just have one really fat Whalmer. It's pretty tempting. We find ourselves a revive, which is nice, which is nice. Does this lead to anything? It does. It leads to a rare candy. Okay. Do I have anything I want to use that on right now? Not so much. I think we are going to keep what we have for right now. Also, I remember, this is very, very random, but I remember Clifford learns Flamethrower at level 49. So we might have a Growlithe until level 49. I'm saying might, because obviously that wouldn't be ideal, but we might. Uh, there's an item up there, how do I get to that? It looks like I come to it from the left. Sorry, go away. I, I should have battled you all before, I get it, I know. I'm a terrible person, I ignored you all. How do I get that item? Right here. Okay, so the guy that was blocking this route has now mysteriously disappeared into the abyss. Sure. Hiya, I challenge V. If someone popped out from behind a tree, and just screamed hiya, I challenge V, I would probably play along. I really would. I don't think I'd even be surprised. I think I would just genuinely play along. Good. Good, I'm proud of myself for that. You know, I imagine a lot of people would probably be like, are you okay? Are, are you on some drugs? You you feeling good? Uh, I'd probably play along. You know, it's all good. It's all good. Uh, coughing, I just want to bop you real quick. I shouldn't use Espeon for everything, but at the same time, I have confusion now. You know, what do you expect from me? Also, can this Pokemon learn Psybeam? Because I'm pretty sure I got Psybeam much earlier than this, originally. And I, I wouldn't mind the power spike. You know, Confusion was a nice power spike, but just feed Espeon. Feed. Feed. Just feed. You know, that's all I want. I just want the strongest Espeon in all the land. Coffin, get out of here. Except, you know, the strongest Espeon just can't be shiny, because it's a disgusting shiny, and, you know, I have to keep seeing it. It's gross. I see it everywhere lately. What is happening? I don't know. It's just that, like, everywhere I look when I'm scrolling through Twitter feeds, I'm just seeing shiny Espeon. It's just Weird and gross, I don't know. Just, I keep seeing it. It's horrible. <laughs> I don't want it. Alright. But, for now... Oh, that item. This is the right way, right? Oh, <gasps> Spinder. We have Bellsprout. We have Spinder. Can I get a shiny Spinder as well, please? I will... I will catch myself a shiny Spinder, you don't understand. Ooh. I'm good. It's tempting. It's tempting. Skarmory is one of those Pokemon that is really good. Okay, competitively viable, good stats, all around, pretty decent Pokemon. It's got nice typing. It's pretty much everything that screams, hey, you could really use this. And I don't think I've 
ever used it in a playthrough. Ever. Not that I can think of, at least. I don't know its level up moveset at all. I know it gets like... I know I would have taught it like Steel Wing, but it's such a... Such a strange Pokemon, I just don't use it. There's a couple of Pokemon like that, that I'm sure every po every person just sort of avoids for no particular reason. They're not against the Pokemon, but they don't particularly favor the Pokemon. Like Mammal, for example, is another good one, to be honest. It's a Pokemon that isn't particularly bad as such. It's not like it's a bad fire type. Fire types are pretty good. It's just, it's not the best, so you never use it. Kind of makes me want to go and grab Skarmory, you know? Murkrow. Kind of fits as well, to be honest. <laughs> this is the route of Pokemon that are kind of decent, but you don't want to use. Great. Finally, someone walked in front of me. Okay. Interesting. How long have you been here, Neil? How long have you been here? Important question here. Really. How long have you been here? A week? Pretty sure bad things will start happening after uh, maybe a day or two. Maybe, maybe it's another week, okay? <laughs> I'm pretty sure, you know, unless he brought a whole lot of water and food, in which case he could have been here for a week. He could be just been camping, you know? Maybe that's it. Maybe he's just out here camping. I like to believe that. Flaffy, though, uh, that we can use Dig Against and we can bot real quick. So that gives me a reason to use Clifford. Clifford, get in here. Be strong. Be good. I want to evolve Clifford. But I want Flamethrower on Clifford. And while we could go for the TM, I have no idea if the TM is going to be early or not. If we get the TM for Overheat... Ooh! Ooh! That's a good... Hmm! Next gym, if these are all actually based off of the gyms anyway, and we're getting like the same kind of TMs, we could get Overheat next. We really could. And then Clifford Evolving wouldn't be bad at all. That could be super good, actually. Okay, I'm kind of excited for that. Oh, we have an item up here. Bag is full. Oh, I don't like reading that one bit. Uh, we're gonna toss the burn heal. Toss the dire hit, to be honest. Superbell. I don't think there's a Pokemon that I'm gonna need the Soof Bell for. I don't need a Silk Scarf. I don't think... So we can give the Soft Sand to Clifford. Maybe we should've just given the Silk Scarf to someone. That would've been a better idea. Yeah. Yeah, that would've been a much better idea. Um, oops. Yeah, I mean, I guess, I guess that would've been worth holding on to. I just kinda didn't really think. Oh well, it's not it's not that big of a deal. We didn't need it as such, it just would have been a nice thing to keep. Uh, for now though, let's go ahead and battle these guys. We do everything together, we battle Pokemon too. Good, good. It's nice to see that you have a friendship, you know? A lot of siblings don't have friendships. I wouldn't know, I'm an only child and I'm kind of fine with that. But, although if you both had Loudred, I feel bad for your parents, I really do, okay? It's a video game, you don't, you probably don't have parents, they were never coded in. Okay, you're probably orphan siblings, and that's terrible and horrible to think about, but you both have Loudred, so I would feel bad for your imaginary parents. I really would. Loudred, are you gonna use Uproar? Is that what you're gonna do? You're gonna use Supersonic, okay. Do we wanna just swap out so we don't hit ourselves in the face? I believe, I believe we'll go for it. I shouldn't, I shouldn't believe we can get through, I should just swap to not take the damage. Not that Dig is gonna one-shot, but... Let's see if we break through this time. I have high hopes. And by high hopes, I mean, I kind of believe. I should have Ember. Hmm, yeah, Ember would have been much better. Uh, Confusion might take him out. Does take him out? Okay, Espio, you are strong. You are a strong Pokemon. You are great, you are wonderful. You hit level 28 and now you're gonna side him. Or not. I wanted to believe, okay? I wanted to believe that we were gonna get Psybeam, we we're gonna get Power Spikes. I want Power Spikes. I'm just gonna walk past you for the time being. I have Poison Pokemon and all that stuff. Item? TM32 Double Team. Okay, so this would normally be the route to Falabatown? 
15 fighters here. I need to stop comparing everything to the base game. I really do. But we have made it to Winford City, and I can go ahead and heal everyone up, which will be lovely. And now I can run back and battle those trainers like I intended to. Thanks for finding me, but we still have to battle. Ninjas, bot. Get out of here. Ninjas, bot. Get out of here. Boring Pokemon. Boring. I know. I'm not, I'm not interested in your ninja Pokemon, okay? You know what we need to use? We need to use Substitute, like I said before. That would have been a good Pokemon for the Silk Scarf. What am I doing? That would have been great. You've met the Thunderbolts? They're my favorite band. I met one of them, I think, unless the other gym trainers were the rest of the crew. Were the other gym trainers the rest of the Thunderbolts? Oops. Should have, should have got the autographs, could have sold them online. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> it's a terrible thing to do, but oh well. Uh, we can headbutt the Electric. Electric nearly got one shot from a single headbutt. If we had the Silk Scarf, I don't even want to talk about it. Okay, maybe we'll get a Choice Band later on, uh, and that will be great. Wow, ha, ha. today's technology is a wondrous thing. Live Pokemon can be stored in computers, pure data. Yeah, that's really weird the more you think about it. I don't want to think about it. I just want to accept that that's a really, really strange thing that can happen in the Pokemon universe that doesn't really make any kind of logical sense. It's it's just really weird. But for now, I think this is where we are going to round up this episode. So if you guys have enjoyed this episode with... I have to show it again. I have to just show this beautiful golden nugget one more time. And we're just going to round off looking at this beautiful golden nugget. But if you guys have enjoyed this episode, leave a like down below, hit that subscribe button, and without further ado, bye!